Going underground. Portion of his ability to maintain a stiffer, uh, stiff upper lip. Oh, boy. I want to play uh, ACDC now. Was I foreshadowing? Were you foreshadowing? I don't think we've had a foreshadow, so... We've totally had to read foreshadow. Have we? I don't think we've hung out with him that much. All right, no foreshadow. As instructed, I shall take you to see the ether burner. Meet me outside the Archeon. I trust you can make your own way there. So the Ark is being built in Labyrinthos. Hardly surprising. Where else could they conceal such a massive undertaking? That would explain why we couldn't get all our ether currents in Labyrinthos. Oh my god. I, I really hope they're building up for a three, two, one, and the Labyrinthios. <laughs> oh, the whole top Everyone's opens. Like, oh my. Oh. And then we get to have So like, wait. It, are we going the ship from the moon they brought to Labyrinthos? No, they're building a new ship to go to. Oh, the that's yeah. just going to be... Okay. It's, it's a whole new ship. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you think it's going to be the Dorito? Yeah. Yeah, that's probably... It's going to be the friggin' Dorito. Yeah, but we don't, we're not taking it to the moon. We're going to take it to... You know, that's a... Kyle, hurry up. A misdirection. I want to see the... I want to see the pizza. I want to see the damn lo login screen. I've been staring at it... Make sure you don't... For more than a year. When you should French fry. You can teleport, by the way. I don't want to teleport. What the RP? Yeah, no, we're going you to. You can teleport, go by the way. Got to talk to Jeez. Nil Zozo. Imagine. I'm going to teleport. Oh, I was, no, I'm going to teleport. I was hoping I knew it was I, all the way over there. I was hoping I would get down I here. I think might be like a cave we got to go through okay, first and stuff. Okay, fine, Kyle. So I'm going to I'm gonna teleport. I'm Thank you for undercutting anything. all of my hopes and dreams. I thought we'd be down here and we would see it like sticking up out of the ground or some shit. Hey everyone, and welcome to our Clips and Highlights channel. If you want to keep up with everything Kyle and I have going on, make sure you subscribe to the main Grinding Gear YouTube channel, which is where we actually do these streams. That's right, we stream right here on YouTube. Oh, and uh, sub to the Grinding Gear podcast. Apple, Google, Spotify, really any podcast platform. We're probably there. Thanks. Our destination lies in the lower levels. The forum in its wisdom has granted you access to the Archeon's lift. Step inside and have Ophelin take you to the medial circuit. Finally, we get to use the thing, Kyle. We get yes. to use the thing. Oh, uh, there's a whole, like... Give us the thing. There's a whole foggy area we haven't been to yet. Oh, yeah, no, the map is massive. Your map there's is massive. There's plenty still to go. The... Nope. Thank you. Yay. Lift operator. Hey. Lift. Lift this. <laughs> I haven't <laughs> thought about that in years. Lift this? Just this. Do you remember just like this? And you just like grab. No. No. You just no. like lift this. No. It was like, you... it was like, that's what she said. But instead oh. you just like make everything rude. Oh, I'm, 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 I mean, I remember D's. You like CDs? Yeah. yeah, I know. I know that one. But you yeah. just, yeah. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, that was it. Okay. I'm not, I'm not sure that was a thing. But, you know. It's a thing for me. You, you, <laughs> you do you. Yeah. You wish to use the lift, yes? Only since the first time I came here. Probably should have synced on that. They're probably going to have some mm, grand reveal. No. Nope, never mind. Yeah, it's just no, the, they just poop the you out. The circuit. The lonely portion now. I do love the Labyrinthos music, particularly at night. I have sent your associates ahead to Logisticon, Logisticon Alpha? Logistican. Logistican. It's like logistics, Kyle. Makes sense. They're but nerds. But they named a city after it. Nerds. On the other side of Muriel Argronomics? Ar 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 Argronomics. Got those Argronomics. Just making Study up words. pirates. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be pirate economy, Kyle. Come on. Yeah. That's one of the many, many uh, expertise you can go into in Pirate College. Jesus Christ. Actually, there is something I have been meaning to. Ooh. No. Oh, come on. No, never mind. It can wait. Let us attend to the matter at hand. Come on. Boo. Boo this man. All right. All right. Alpha now. Alpha now. Nope. Cutscene. Nope. Scene. We ought to wait here while our father arranges for us to use the next lift.
Here, being Logisticon Alpha, where the atmospheric conditions of Labyrinthos are regulated. Water is drawn from underground and dispersed as vapor, stimulating the formation of artificial clouds and rain. By manipulating the temperature and air circulation, they are able to create the ideal environment for the growth and preservation of the biological samples kept here. Hold on. How do you know so much about it? Why, father brought me here as a child. What? And left me behind? Actually, you're the one who left me behind. When you went off somewhere with grandfather. The night before, I'd been asking father how clouds are made. So he decided to show me. It was fascinating. I peppered him with questions the entire time. It is all too easy to take for granted the many interweaving aspects of the natural world, to grow inert to the wondrous. But having gained an understanding of the complex mechanisms employed by the Lopperit in recreating a similar environment, I have come to view such processes in a new light. The subterranean gardens of Labyrinthos, the lunar prison forged to contain, uh, contain the ancient zodiac, the habitations built for all mankind neath the moon's surface, each unique yet undeniably similar. It is no mere coincidence. Ever since Heidelin unfolded to us the grim fate that awaits Aetheris, every essential resource we could spare has been delivered to Labyrinthos in preparation for the Great Exodus. But that is not all. It is also a testing ground for the technologies that will allow us to settle on distant stars. Though the Laparits have endeavored to make the moon inhabitable, this is not our final destination. Mankind must learn to propagate life where there is none, to thrive where all is barren. Alas, time is not on our side. I have arranged for you all to enter the Central Circuit. It is there that most of our preparations for the Great Exodus are carried out. The construction of the Ark among them. Though our plans have been made public, access remains highly restricted. You, however, will not be subject to said restrictions, and will have free reign to come and go as you please. Such was the will of the Forum, after all. We will prove ourselves worthy of their trust. Your trust. <laughs> Shit. Then let us proceed. <laughs> I am nothing if not disappointing consistently. Alphano's Alphano going to punch him. He's a no. Alphano's going to punch his dad. Into it. That's going to happen. He's into it. He's going to be like, hey, dad. He's supplying the baseline that this is normal for dad. Provide access to this. Yeah. <laughs> By the By decree of the form. Form. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, Please, you just did the whole show. Allow me. <laughs> the signs of the seven dawn are permitted to enter the central circuit. Why, thank you. Thank you, my good sir. You're welcome. Oh, yeah, we gotta have shields, you know, we're going into space. Gotta have shields. Excuse me, I'm uh, taking in the sights. Yeah. The blue uh, underglow makes me think of Final Fantasy VII, and I have not even played that game. I mean, it's very, yeah. Yeah, they're doing, they're doing an interesting thing. I don't know if it'll even be used this expansion, right? They're like, hey, we're gonna build biomes so we can go to other worlds. Yeah. The ether burner is being constructed not far from here. Overseeing the work is Kokol Dankol, after whom the forge is named. Once the necessary introductions have been made, I shall leave you with him to discuss the particulars. This way. As the music gets jaunty. Yep, this music is always psychotic. 
I prefer the night theme. Uh, oh, uh, do we have a Lalafell with a mullet? This is the most I've ever liked a Lalafell's drip. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's got the, the lion cut. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's incredible. Yep, it's a wacky scene. I could swap them out. No, been there, done that. What a voice. Damn near lost me eyebrows. Think, Coco, think. We'd be well on our way to paradise. Visionaries patting themselves on the backs for their grand accomplishments if you'd only think. <laughs> this guy's voice yes. is great. That does sound rather lovely. Yeah! I mean... Master Force, you know, what a pleasant surprise. <gasps> We're not blasting off already, are we? Last enough. The schedule remains unchanged, for better or worse. Oh, so now I get there to sync up. Are you ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. This guy sounds like he's about to go off on witches. Just how much he hates this witches. Which is why the forum has elected to accept assistance in resolving the ether burner conundrum. Huh. Not seen you lot down here before. Like Where has this voice actor been hiding? Among their number, but engineering is not their expertise. Nevertheless, the forum concedes the slim possibility that they may have insights to offer. If not, you are at liberty to return them to the surface by whatever means you see fit. Hail. I assure you that won't be necessary. Now. About your troubles with the ether burner. Aye, aye, I'll walk you through it. Suppose okay. I could do with a change of pace. I like his glasses. As the I name want... ought to tell you, the ether burner burns ether, ambient or otherwise, and transforms it into motive force. Think of it like a giant bomb that never stops exploding. Yeah. Can Even we use it to blow up some bird girls? Where the ether is right sparse, it's strong enough to move our arc. <laughs> And it probably won't kill you like an actual bomb. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> but it ain't perfect. According to my calculations, to travel to the moon and back fast enough for the forum's liking, the conversion rate needs to be 6% more efficient. A measly 6%, you say? But if I could have squeezed even another 0.6 out of it, don't you think I'd have built it that way in the first place? Hast thou consulted with the Loperids? Yes, they too are conducting their own research, for lack of a ready answer. The Moon's propulsion systems are considerable, naturally, yet they are commensurately massive. It is no easy feat to convert their technology into an efficient means of propulsion for a teeny tiny toy boat, as they say, and as I most certainly do not. <laughs> yes, exactly. He Damn it. Oh, I asked funny. for a fine adamantite, and they send me uppity rabbits with inscrutable, ancient, incompatible technology. You're trying to drive me mad. Do you speak of Allegan refined adamantite, perchance? You know of it. Only in the most general terms, I'm afraid. Twas an alloy of Allegan make. But the secrets of its production were closely guarded. Kyle, As I, I recall, think you're getting your Allegan. Yeah. The record stated it was vital to Dalamud's construction and launch. Oi, that's the stuff. No material more conductive far as I know. Slotting some ends like blowing up a dam and watching the river of ether come rushing through. Ain't a living soul that knows how to make it, though. We were fortunate enough to salvage some for the ether burner, just a wee bit, mind, from a chunk of Dalamud that came hurtling into the northern empty during the calamity. With more? Well, that extra 6% efficiency will be child's play. It's a crying shame that we've no other sources. Surely the many shards of Dalamud scattered throughout Eorzea would suffice. Why not get the refined adamantite from them? Oh, we tried, believe you me. 
but only a few specialised pieces would have had any in them to begin with. Drive calls from Ragnarok class internment hulks. Those are the prize bits we really need. According to the Gleaners, getting to them means delving deep into the shards. And the defences are still very operational and very eager to blow them up. Send me in, coach. Right, I, I want to run an elegant dungeon. It's rough Come going on. in there, even for the cream. Not sure they'd make it out alive. Weren't we near that part of the Ragnarok when we went to destroy Bahamut? Are we getting uh, custom? Oh yeah. Options? Well, there's no way she would turn to you. Right. 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 Yeah. This has got to be because we ran coils. Sounds like a job oh, for someone that's else. That's cool as shit. The White Raven's ghost haunts uh. me. <laughs> like the first one. <laughs> I want to go middle. Uh, that's just interesting. It is cool. Yeah. Let's go. I'm with that. going that. Yeah. Yep. 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 Three, two, one, go. Heavens, are you all right? You look pale as a. No, I look <sighs> nail. Best put that battle from your mind for now. Deep breaths. That's it. Hmm. There are multiple internment hulks in Eorzea alone, so handling this ourselves may not be the most efficient option. Rather, if we could salvage Adamantite from the shards simultaneously. Thancred, is the link shell we established before you went to Garlemald still active? Of course. The floor is yours. What's all this? Adventuring. Gathering firewood, so to speak. We alone can accomplish little, but joined by others? We may yet build a bonfire to carry us heaven's ward. Oh, we said an expansion name. <laughs> the world's this is not Alphano. enough. The Scions have need of you. Now he's going to babble. Understood. I will contact the Lord Commander and dispatch our finest at once. My sisters are somewhat preoccupied with the final days. So I will lead the Twelveswood expedition myself. Are you aware of any other sources of refined adamantite? Logically, such an invaluable alloy would have been utilized solely where absolutely necessary, in components intended to conduct or collect surpassing amounts of ether. Any extant instrumentation or devices would have likely found their way into the hands of etherologists or enthusiasts. Magical artifacts of Allegan design? The Eastern Alliance will send word to one and all. Are there other ways we may offer aid? No shards of the Lesser Moon scar our soil. But our stake in this cause is no less for it. Hell yeah, Serena. Is there anything in Offord that might be of use to you? Offord, you say? <laughs> you got friends in far places, lad. Any road, if you're offering, I wouldn't say no to one of those Far Eastern sacred relics. <laughs> Some of them can hold enough ether to summon a whole damn primal. Find a source like that with the ether burner. And three, two, one, kaboom! I gather you heard his explosive enthusiasm. Might you secure us a suitable relic? It shall be done. I know little of machines, but I promise we will do our utmost to gather the materials you need to finish your starship. I am glad for the work, in truth. Better to busy oneself than wait and fret over disasters foretold. Then 
Then why are we all still standing about yapping? This plunder for the taking. <laughs> and I'm a born plunderer. Yes, yeah, sure. Freaking sick of course. Hell yeah. Before you know it. Start mixing the grog. I'm certain that can be arranged. Thank you all. And do be careful. Yeah, hang on, Dad. I got a very important call to take. Just oh, Mr. Like President. <laughs> Aye, just like that. Our refined adamantite is on its way. Now let us consider our next steps, shall we? There's yet much to be done. While you were living under a rock, we were out being awesome. <laughs> yeah, witness it. Yeah, your son's awesome. View it. Yeah, you had nothing to do Absorb with it. Absorb it. <laughs> now walk away. Watch your son fly. <laughs> uh, thanks for the super change. Power of friendship. No, no fetch questing needed. Right? Hell yeah. So I, mean, I wouldn't have mind running an elegant dungeon. No, I would have. Real. I, I would have been into that. Yeah, I would have run been, down. Yeah, don't threaten me with a good time. I would have channeled several things in that elegant dungeon gladly. Oh yeah. Yep. <laughs>